Hello, welcome to today's dash cam diary of a disabled May 9th leaving in just four days. Four days, folks. Um, I have decided to hear some big breaking news from Chronically Happy. I'm going to start a second channel for uh, my travels to Las Vegas and my opal mining adventures and um, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to have to do like a series on just EDC itself for all my postings and videos that I'm going to take at EDC. Um, it's going to be the experience of a lifetime for me. It's going to be so fun. I am so excited. Uh, but also overwhelmed and stressed out because I got so much to do. <laughs> and I still can't even just sit at home and like do my beading and get my uh, candy making bracelets, bracelets and necklaces done. <laughs> my bracelets. <laughs> Bracelets and necklaces. I don't know how I can combine that word for my dyslexia, but I tried. It didn't work. So I am headed home right now. I've been stuck in some stupid traffic in the afternoon. People going to and from lunch, I guess, or appointments on their lunch breaks, whatever they do. Whatever this uh, working population does these days. I'm early retired, early disabled. I became retired because I'm disabled. <laughs> uh, it's a disabled life after all. Uh, my friend uh, that owns a business up in uh, Tri-Cities, Washington, uh, the Busy Bee Diner. Boy, is that name all over in different states <laughs> for a diner. Uh, but absolutely love her diner. I ate at her diner when I went to go visit her and a friend uh, when his dog died or was dying. Uh, my friend, my old neighbor was going through a hard time so I drove the 300 miles to go try and help him get medicine. Uh, he doesn't have transportation. Um, he has a lot of severe PTSD and uh, mental health issues. Um, he did not get discharged from the army for good reasons, <laughs> but he is a good person deep down. I really got to spend some time with my old neighbor when I lived in Walla Walla, Washington. Uh, and I moved to Walla Walla in order to get good VA care, health care and homeless uh, housing assistance uh, because I was going through a lot of financial hardships and I wasn't 100% uh, disabled yet uh, when I lived up there. I lived there for about five years I think uh, after I uh, graduated college and finished up my temporary job in uh, Baker City Oregon working for Bureau of Land Management BLM uh, I got my degree in forestry I did not end up being able to use it because I became disabled after my last surgery so it is what it is uh, I'm Proud, extremely proud of myself with my learning disabilities that I was able to get through college and uh, gosh beat, beat, beat a lot of odds <laughs> let's just say that I beat a lot of odds with uh, being able to do what I did I, uh, I'm glad so anyways as I was saying I just glad that I could go visit my friends and uh, my friend from Tri-Cities. I just met with her because I use her address up in uh, Tri-Cities, Washington in order to get my housing assistance help. Or not housing assistance, but uh, my medical care from the VA. I still fall under the Walla Walla, Washington VA because I absolutely refuse to use the Salem-Portland uh, VA in Oregon. Because a lot of... Uh, problems in my medical care. But then also Walla Walla Washington did too. Uh, I really don't have much faith in either anymore. But I am going to get another referral to uh, make sure I can still use some of the VA. I need to re-enroll. That's on my to-do list once I get back home. And then my friend that's moving down to Southern Oregon, she's going to help me too figure out more of the VA issues. 
red box to me getting in the neurosurgeon that I so desperately need. Um, it's good to have friends <laughs> that are caring and really do want to help. Uh, it's a lot to try and manage all these disabilities and disabling diagnoses that I have. And all the symptoms I experience from each diagnosis. It's really hard to live like this. Um, but I'm still happy because I'm, I'm still alive and I'm going to live till I'm 100. But that's besides the point. I am just grateful and thankful to be alive and I have friends that are willing to help me now after finally getting, living more friends in as closer friends rather than just acquaintances. I'm, I have a very small, very, very, very small circle. Very small circle of people that I consider good friends, best friends. And I'm glad that I have my friend up in, in Tri-Cities, Washington to uh, let me use her address so I can stay at her house um, if I need to do any VA care of baby management up in Walla Walla. But then I also have my uh, old neighbor in Walla Walla and then uh, another uh, friend, a mutual friend of my old neighbors and mine. Uh, I was introduced through my neighbor's brother. <laughs> uh, this group of people in Walla Walla, Washington that I, that I got to get to know a little bit and spend some holidays with. Because um, I made my own family up when I was in Washington. I, uh, all my other family and friends and everybody was on this side of uh, the Cascade Mountains in Oregon and Washington. Uh, but then as soon as I moved back to this side of Oregon, my friend that I met when I was in college uh, after I got out of the service I met my friend Andrea through a friend of mine Tim Tim's Tim's friend and my friend Josh was dating Andrea <laughs> and so I actually ended up getting to be really good friends with Andrea and then those two broke up <laughs> and I'm just more friends with her now <laughs> and her new husband I was the um, maid of honor in her wedding. Uh, and my dad helped marry them. <clears throat> my dad's an ordained minister. <laughs> yeah, he's the he's the church of, uh, I think he called himself the church of beer or something like that. <laughs> my dad's funny. Uh, he likes to drink. Um, but I understand why. He, my dad's in a lot of pain. Uh, he has EDS too. And well, I'm following in a lot of his footsteps medically. <laughs> Almost everything he has, I have. <laughs> I got it earlier in life. <laughs> everything my mom has, I'm kind of already getting earlier in life too. Like I said, best genetics ever. <laughs> Created my medical mystery complex problems, such as symptoms, and then aggravating it with my Navy service. <laughs> but I didn't know I had all these underlying issues. I mean, I knew, but I didn't know what they were. <laughs> well, now I figured out what they are. Now the VA's got to help me uh, treat this aggravation of uh, problems that started, started in the Navy. And then everything just kind of <laughs> rolled downhill from there. Sorry, I'm not really good. Almost tempted to get some caffeine while I'm here because I mean, I'm stuck in traffic, anyways. I think that's how I made it through the day yesterday was all that caffeine. <sighs> this traffic's not gonna go anywhere either. I've spent like two hours out of my time just to go pick up this one piece of mail sent to my friend's house that's letting me uh, stay there when I need any VA matters taken care of. just wanted to say I am starting a new channel uh, and some new playlists of all my travels for raw counting and mining, my music festival travels, um, my travels to my Navy friend down in Arizona. I can't wait to surprise him with the news of uh, I'm going to come visit him. <laughs> uh, 
He has a lot of uh, social anxiety, though, and so he doesn't leave his house as often anymore. Uh, so, I'm, I'm excited to go uh, try and inspire my friend Juan in real life and uh, give him his uh, presents and pickles and stuff from me in person instead of mailing it to him. I'm really excited for this. I can't wait. So, I need to go locate those uh, necklaces and stuff I made them. I need to get back into my necklace making. I really gotta get some of that done. I'm like only halfway done with the trophies and I'm not even all the way halfway done. I'm just turning into decaffeine. And I probably have to pause it when I order. <laughs> Lots of things going on. Uh, lots of friends I've been speaking of. My friend Jennifer, my friend Andrea, um, some other exciting news about my gaming friend Cody, his wife Charity. I've known since high school. I didn't know her, hang out with her, or spend time with her in high school, but I knew of her and like interacted very on very brief occasions. <laughs> uh, but I game with her husband almost every night playing zombies on Modern Warfare 3. I don't uh, have as many clips up of that. I was going to do the whole streaming thing, but I, you know, I just I got too much involved with my regular YouTube channel stuff. So just uh, my diary, my dash cam diaries, video blogging, therapy, <laughs> therapy myself, therapy others, inspiring others to keep going. Um, I did get a lot of that rust and mold out of that trailer compartment yesterday uh, after I filmed that video of uh, the barracks I spread out everywhere. I got I made big strides in, in cleaning a lot of that kind of stuff up. Uh, today's just the mildew on the outside of the trailer being pressure washed. Uh, hopefully my mom is still able to help me. She's She had a really bad bout of vertigo this morning so I just... I really don't want to push her to do anything really. I I really need help though. I really need help just a little bit by just a little bit of wiping down. I mean, people hire my mom to clean things for them. <laughs> and uh, me and my mom are part of a disabled team that uh, uh, help people out every once in a while doing odd job tasks that they need help with. When we have the energy and are in less pain, or at least tol tolerable pain, um, to get things done. We have a large family and we believe in helping each other out as much as possible, but it just takes a lot of, uh, <laughs> to help influence our decisions. <laughs> or we're just desperate for some of that, so we kind of have to put ourselves through the loop for uh, just a little bit of cash. Too hard of work, not enough money. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it <laughs> for all the pain we go through. I'm just doing a little bit of help that we do. But it's just, it's just, that's who I'm made to be. I'm made to be that way. I pause this. So yeah, just made my order on uh, getting my caffeine, caffeine fix. Uh, so yep, this is where I'm at today. Just trying to get everything accomplished before I gotta go. Uh, I'm not going to get much accomplished in the next hour, though, we can being stuck in this traffic in town. <laughs> uh, stop and go, stop and go. I'm like, I might as well get some caffeine because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be stuck here for a while. <laughs> we don't have one of these places in my town, so it's very far and few between that I get these. That's the only way I'm allowing myself any kind of energy drinks either because they're so bad for you. <laughs> they're so bad for a person. <laughs> And I already have tachycardia so at times. Depends on the position. Changing positions. That's what gets my tachycardia hook going. Oh, I don't like it. My cup, or, my cup holders are still being washed. I took them in the house last night. So I could still clean. I was cleaning up until after like 8.30 p.m. last night. I ate dinner and went back to work. Played a round of zombies, went back to work. Well, today I've been working on my clothes. Nope. 
there's still kind people out there in this world. Guy waved me to cut and get, in, get turning in the stop and go traffic. Can't decide whether it wants to blink fast or slow. <laughs> Must be a bad connection. Yay for happy, for uh, nice people letting me in. Gosh, I'm going to use a full tank of gas before I even leave on my trip. Oh my goodness. I've already gone 157 miles in the last week. <laughs> I fill up, I think, on Monday. Freaking ridiculous. <laughs> gas is so expensive. Paying about five, $5 a gallon. nuts. Oregon's like one of the uh, highest in uh, gas prices right now. It's like number, it's within the top 10. Oh, please don't let anybody come. Oh, I'm going to have to let this motherfucker out. Because I'm nice too. acknowledged me. He waved at me, so I waved at them. See, people are still nice. I'm still kind. You know, not everybody's kind to me. I'm not kind to them either at times because, yeah, why are you trying to speed in front of everybody and then cut in? No, thank you. But when that does happen, then you end up stuck at the same light and then you look over at them. And you're like, huh, yeah. You did all that speeding just to end up in the same spot. Got you everywhere we didn't did. <laughs> well, yeah. Stuck at the light. I can't keep my foot on the gas. I have to put it around the brake. <laughs> on the gas at the stoplight. Yeah, that makes sense, Jenna. Um, that's my real name. I'm not going to say it very often. And I can't believe I didn't even bring my friend Andrea any bracelets because I want to make her a, I want to make her some bracelets. She get you know she go, told me a meeting spot. <laughs> her son is a delinquent and was getting a polygraph test, and it was taking him a long time at that appointment. So by the time she told me everything that she's been up to and the few things that she allowed me to be able to say. Uh, <laughs> Her uh, son is still in that damn test. <laughs> she had to go to, go find a restroom somewhere, which is hard to do, especially in an industrial part of town. Uh, kind of funny. So we uh, briefly caught up, and uh, it was a good time. I don't know what else to say right now. I'm trying to focus on driving. I uh, changed out my patch last night. I felt a lot of nausea this morning when I woke up. These patches are so no joke. I think if I would have taken the 10 microgram one, I think it would have made me nauseous for a couple more days still. And a lot longer this morning. Uh, it really messes with my blood pressure. I haven't even gotten all my uh, blood blood work back yet, but it does say that I am trying to fight off some kind of infection or it's an autoimmune flare. One of the two. Or worst case scenario, it could be blood blood disorder or cancer. But I really don't think it's that. <laughs> it mentions celiac disease, autoimmune, viral, parasitic, or bacterial infection. Could be the reason why I have an elevated number of the certain types of white blood cells, which are called monocytes. There's like... And don't quote me. I think there's seven different types of white blood cells, but I think there may be even five. I don't know. Like I said, don't quote me. There's like, like I said, if it is five different types of white blood cells that they take, that they test and run for on a complete blood panel, um, or as a complete blood count, CBC. Ugh. 
dyslexia, what can I say? Uh, I mix up numbers and words all the time. Uh, my brain just likes to jumble things up in the middle of trying to process it and spit out the information out of my mouth. It's like I'm already thinking about something else. <laughs> it messes up my speech pattern. My flow of words. My verbiage. Oh man. Oh, they're turning the old Costco into an Arbor Freight. Nice. I think somebody should have bought out that building though and made it like a, uh, a skating rink. But be able to be authorized to be like some kind of like uh, MJ lounge instead of drinking, but I don't think we're there yet. Although uh, Las Vegas or Nevada, they are opening up some lounges for the use of MJ. And I think that is fabulous. And I can't wait to go experience that while I'm in Vegas. Because I certainly will. I'm going to go live my life and have some fun. And that's the only thing I'm allowed to do while I'm on these patches. Because <laughs> I could end up killing myself doing anything else. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to live till I'm 100, thank you. Oh, and that reminds me, I gotta stop by the pharmacy, speaking of medication. I gotta do that on my way home, I almost forgot. Because the doctor pushed my medication early, which I hope, the pharmacist, not doctor, uh, the pharmacist, uh, person that worked there <laughs> um, she pushed for me to get it before Friday and I, I'm like I don't want it to be a request to be early I just told her I, was, I would be back later this week because I have more medications to fill on Friday um, and I only needed the food drug quarter zone filled early but I didn't need the other ones filled early because I don't want that to be a black mark on my record because I'm getting my anxiety meds filled. And I don't want them to think that I'm trying to like pull anything over on anybody. Um, I'm not, you know, I told her I'm leaving on vacation. I don't, I won't be back until after the 1st. Um, I need to make sure I have all my medication in order before I leave. And those are what I'm out of. But I, I didn't mean that I was out of my anxiety meds because I still have one or two, I think. Or maybe, you know, I don't know. I, I haven't needed to take any in a little bit. Um, 
woman wants to try and convince somebody that they're older. <laughs> I mean, usually it's the other stereotype around, you know, the other way around. A woman wants to appear younger than they really are. But in fact, it's true, I do look younger than I am. Uh, to a degree, it's all a matter of perspective. Everybody thinks, has their own opinions. And that's totally fine. We all don't need to agree about the same thing. We don't. It's okay. If everybody agreed and we're the same, we would be boring. <laughs> I like a spicy life. I like to change things up and, you know, I like the shock factor of things. <laughs> I like the whole surprise. Surprise! <laughs> I do like to jump scare people too. Um, I do like to scare my mom in particular. But I, I kind of have toned down that since she started having heart issues and I really don't want to cause her a heart attack. Um, so I try my best not to argue with my mom, but uh, some of those old tendencies come out of me living with her. <laughs> I have a childhood trauma like everybody else my age. <laughs> not trying to gaslight anybody or diminish anybody's childhood like uh, from all appearances my family looked fine but like no I, I had some BS to deal with as a child because we didn't know what was wrong with me <laughs> that's why I grew up reading encyclopedia medical encyclopedias <laughs> because there was no Google when I was a child <laughs> we had encyclopedias and the three decimal system at the library to look things up. There's a lot of travel starting to happen towards uh, other parts of Oregon. There's a lot more cars than I usually see, but I don't, I don't know if I'm really out this time of day. Normally, normally this is the time frame that I'm like crashing from my uh, morning Adderall meds. And I don't like to take them in the afternoon. <laughs> I just, I don't want a dependence on any medication. I just don't. Uh, it's inevitable with this patch. I, I'm going to have withdrawals coming on with this patch. It's, it's inevitable. I know what it's, it's going to feel like. All I know is they better be uh, putting me on some uh, tablets or some lingual or whatever when I go to get off these patches because I need off of them at some point. I do not want to stay on this for that long. I really don't. I don't want to stay on these meds that long. I can't wear these glasses with this hat. This hat just pushes down on my ears too much. It is what it is. Stop pacing me, dude. Maybe. It's going about the same speed as me. And she was right on my butt when I was in the fast lane. Like maybe one mile per hour faster than me. Maybe two. How's my eyeballs look today? I look... I don't look like I have a super big black eye. Only partial black eyes, at least. Only half shiners today. Half moons. Today's only a half moon day. That's going to be my title. Today's a half moon day. Yeah, this thing's all scabbed over too. I decided to mess with it. I just want to freeze the sucker off or cut it off my nose. It's like a... It's just a collection of like dead cells or whatever. And like little cysts thing on my tip of my nose. Uh, yeah. I think they're called pseudo tumors. I'm not sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any kind of medical research. I haven't looked up much in a while. But speaking of research, I am so excited for my friend Charity. I went to talk about her earlier and I got sidetracked on other stuff. Talking about friendships and then travel and my new channel. A new channel for travel. Uh, that way the people that want to follow certain things, they're not bombarded with my dash cam diary of disabled. That's the reason I'm making another channel on Playlist, is uh, my travels, my fun times, not 
my di dash cam diaries. Um, but I will have some good. I wish I had a GoPro. That'd be nice. If I had better equipment for my travels, that'd be even better. But I'm gonna just have to use my cell phone. And then I bought my burner phone, which has a really crappy camera and video. Uh, yeah, it just depends on what happens. I do plan to walk away with my real cell phone. Uh, while I'm having fun at the festival, I mean, I'm locking my phone away, and, uh, I don't want anybody to get to my stuff. <laughs> I'm not saying where I'm hiding things, but yeah, I'm hiding things and locking them up when I'm doing festival things, or when I'm away from my camp, uh, inside Camp EDC, because it's its own whole big area in itself. Like, there's so much to do in Camp EDC, I'm so excited. So excited. But my friend Charity, with her research, she is like a seismologist and geology type stuff. Geology, volcanic. Um, she is doing her PhD next year and she had to apply for lots of grants and scholarships and she they got awarded like millions of dollars to do more research in the Crescent something range somewhere here in Oregon um, but I'm so excited for her they just got their grant proposals approved and um, uh, research money and they're gonna get to know more about the geology of Oregon. Uh, she's already done a couple PhD projects um, already. Uh, I can't be more proud of my friend Charity. Uh, just congratulations to her uh, doing and uh, living her best life, doing her career that she's always wanted. I'm so proud of her. And uh, the fact that she's doing what she loves in a career and research, uh, it's just amazing. I, I couldn't be any happier for my friend Charity. Uh, and she's getting to network and getting to know some of the top people in the field and the whole United States. Like, she's getting, she's getting places. And her husband, I'm proud of him too. And Cody, my gaming friend, uh, he is also kind of working his dream. I think he has more dreams of doing more, uh, you know, being more a travel uh, investigating journalist um, in uh, war zones and stuff. But he is doing investigative journalist work. He got his degrees. He went back to college as an adult and uh, got his degrees. And he's working in the Corvallis area. Uh, and he's in charge of a couple of social medias. Uh, uh, he's doing great. He's doing great in what he does. He just got a raise not too long ago. Uh, you know, I couldn't be any happier for my, my couple friends, uh, Cody and Charity. She's doing one of my other things I absolutely love, and I also love journalism, and I love, you know, gaming, and so I really get a, a complete package in a couple. Uh, I have things in common with her, and I got things in common with him but they're all completely opposite spectrum stuff <laughs> of like hobbies, career, you know, uh, interests. Um, they're complete opposite things, but I love both. And that's why I love both my friends, Charity and Cody. I mean, they're the complete package, like two people in one, like they're good friends. I really love having them as friends. And uh, I got to camp and get to know their son a little bit uh, last summer. Uh, I want to butt in and try and include myself in a camp trip with them this summer too if they can uh, get another trip in uh, maybe in August I don't know I have to talk to her about it I didn't get to talk to her about all of it oh man I missed the pharmacy oh, I gotta go turn around oh well it's longer to finish my video um there's a bonus in everything and the bonus is I get to finish my video and can keep talking and I'm going to totally inevitably mess it up if I go to pause it. I'll end up stopping it on accident messing with my wallet because it's attached to my phone. It also helps keep my phone balanced on my dash, having the, the wallet attached to it.
That's the best wallet I've had in a long time. <laughs> and I always know where my wallet and, and phone are because they're attached. It's just my keys, that's the problem. <laughs> Separating my keys from my wallet and phone. <laughs> Sometimes I misplace one or the either. One or the other. I gotta alternate between water and caffeine because I can't get too dehydrated with the caffeine. I gotta have the right balance in my body. first started a family got married you know it took a lot of work to get to where they are that's for sure it took a lot of work to get to where they are and not all couples can make it that far from high school and let alone together you know <laughs> uh, they had kids together they have one that's out on their own now and the other one's just uh finishing up school well he's he's a little bit younger still he's got quite a few years to go but um, it's cool. Uh, I see how much of, uh, in the kid that, you know, I see both Ch Cody and Charity in, uh, oh, I didn't realize our name together would be Chody. <laughs> uh, I think somebody had that nickname back in the day, actually. Uh, so yeah, uh. Not very flattering of a name either. <laughs> I love both Charity and Cody. They're uh, really good people. Uh, they're very intelligent people. And, uh, you know, I just wish I could spend more time with them. You know, I only go down to their house once a month to go visit them. Uh, you know, I just got to get closer to them to make sure that they come visit me too when they come into town. Because we, I live about like 45 minutes away from them. It takes me about that long to get to to their house to go out and have dinner. And I spend hours there <laughs> watching movie or uh, YouTube or, you know, we need to get to play more games and have more game nights. But uh, trying to get uh, Cody to be more social is uh, like pulling teeth. <laughs> that's not very often, that's for sure. He's not a very social person. <laughs> Charity would be if she... Uh, had more time availability, but she's uh, she was busy being a researcher, and it takes a lot of time out of a person's day to do everything she does, um, and run a family, and you know, be a wife, a mother, and career woman. Uh, and him, you know, uh, he has some long hours sometimes too, and I can't get on the game with him. And uh, yeah, I let her air her frustration about that situation too. Like they got to. I'm not, I don't want to air their business, actually, uh, but, uh, they, uh, I, I, I love them. It's just, uh, it's hard, you know, because I'm friends with both of them, and so, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to enable one doing one thing over the other, but, like, I'm like, yeah, I know how she feels about certain things, and, uh, <laughs> I enable it to happen, too, <laughs> but, yeah. I, uh, I totally understand where she's coming from with her requests. And so whenever he's doing something that kind of goes against what I know she likes, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I can't help but laugh because I'm like, I know both sides. <laughs> and I try my best not to get in the middle of anything, but like I let, I let her vent and, uh, for as much as being a guy, you know, uh, a lot of the guys I know don't share their feelings. Um, just my generational thing, uh, maybe the location or area I grew up in, I don't know. I, I just, feelings aren't really talked about as much with anybody. Uh, anybody that I knew or grew up with. Um, so I understand why uh, we all are the way that we are. <laughs> just not everybody else thinks about that kind of thing. I try to be mindful of other people and their upbringings and uh, how, how much it very well does influence a person. 
how they are later in life. I can see it. Uh, you know, I can understand. You know, I've, uh, I've learned a lot about mental health and my mental health journey. <laughs> uh, and many people in the mental health field have been like, you're really smart. You really should be a therapist or get into social work. I'm like, no, thank you. I wear my heart on my sleeve and I'd be probably bawling every freaking day after, after work, like just thinking about, I'm trying to release all the tension from the day of all the people's problems and things that I hear about and the way that people treat others and the way the government is really just, our justice system is broken, our medical system is broken, our mental health system is broken, our medical system is broken, like all of these things are broken in our country. Um, and they need major revamping, all of them. Everything, everything in our freaking country needs to be revamped and redone. This is not, it's not fair. Life is not fair though. Um, well, hopefully uh, someday we'll get it all right. I can't tell you what right is. I don't have all the answers at all, by any means. But I do have a lot of the out, outside of the, outside of the box thinking. I think a lot about things. I think a little about a lot of uh, people every day. Um, I love everybody. I only hope the best for everybody except for the people that uh, do heinous crimes and are guilty of those heinous crimes. Uh, there's evil in the world, I understand this, but you can't have good without bad and bad without good. It's about balance and it's about figuring out your own life's balance and trying to be the best human being for yourself and to those around you. Because environment's everything. It depends on who you surround yourself with and how you interpret things and your perspective is biased around those that you surround yourself with. Um, but life is a learning process and it's all about experiences. So experience all that you can while you can because you never know when tragedy will hit and you'll never have that opportunity again. Don't let life pass you by by saying no to everything and not being open to possibilities. Anything in life is possible. You just have to think that it is. Mind over matter. Everything will work out and be fine. Y'all keep smiling. Peace out.